Oh my god, it's cold, dude. It's cold. All right, so we're at Daikoku parking area again. again. We love this place. This is like the meat place. Dude. <laughs> this is the place. Oh! Yeah, he wants to be a little bit, just a little. Just a little bit? Just a little. All right, so. He's the owner. <laughs> He's the owner of this car that we're going to feature. <laughs> so the story is. We were driving by, we were, we were actually not going to come here, but uh, we all needed to use the restroom and that's what this place is. This is a rest stop. So we came here, used the restroom. Turns out there's so many cool cars here, including this awesome Mercedes. Owner's here, he built it. He owns a wheel company, so he actually has the wheels that are on it. We'll talk about that. But my good friend Masa is here, who actually works for Top Rank. He helped us facilitate a lot of things this whole trip including a lot of stuff with my R34 GTR. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you for being in a video. Yeah, your well, video. no, no, you're in my video. <laughs> your Actually, video. I've been in your video. <laughs> yes, you're in yeah. my video, which will be uploaded very soon, so stay right. tuned. So we're at Daikoku parking area. Yep. This is honestly the most iconic spot in Tokyo. Yes, it is. In terms of car meets. Yes. And there's a constant rolling car show here whether it be morning, midday, night, any time of day. Of course, it's popping a lot more during weekends, but sometimes weeknights, this is a Monday, mm -hmm. there's a lot of cool cars, including this amazing Mercedes. What is this thing? Do so you know this, what this is? So this is a 1977 Mercedes SL, and this car's engine is very unique. Okay, yeah, so of course, this being in Japan, left-hand drive, you know, it's like boss status already. But the fact is, it ha does have an engine swap. Can we see the engine? So, if you look at, like, from this angle, it looks like a normal 450SL. But the engine is special. Yes, it's very special. And of course, it's, I feel like, one of the favorite swaps for a lot of folks in the US when it comes to drift cars and all around cool guy street cars. But this is a 2J. But what did he pull this out of? He pulled this out of a Toyota Aristo, which is basically a 2J sedan. Got it. So in the US, we had the Aristo too, but it was called the GS. And in the US, we had the GS300 that had a NA version of this engine. Oh, actually, engine is from the Supra, 2J Supra. Oh, it's not from Aristo. It's not from Aristo, oh. but the tranny is from Aristo. Okay, so transmission's from Aristo. Does that mean it's automatic? Yes, it is automatic. Okay. So automatic transmission from Aristo to kind of keep the luxury Mercedes feel. Yeah. And then this one's actually out of a Mark IV Supra. Mark IV Supra, right. yes, sir. So then um, in this configuration, like what else, ha what has he done to make this fit? Did it fit okay or what, what did he have to do? So basically the motor swap wasn't that easy. Well, obviously, but it was made uh, with in collaboration with his a guy who works at a like a like personal mechanic, and also the engine swap is done by a shop called RWR, which is basically a raw weld, you know, RWB Porsches, yeah. right? Nakai San's team done this build. Really? Yes. Yeah, so it's basically RWB is for Porsche, but there's another group called RWR. Mm. RWR, oh. which is like their like maintenance mechanic shop, right, and their team done this whole entire swap. Yeah, I've known for a long time that Nakai loves Mercedes. Last time we were here in May of last year, he actually followed us around in his diesel Mercedes. But um, that's pretty cool that they actually did the swap. Uh, how much power does this run? Power is making about like 400. 400. Uh, like boost is about like, he pushing like 1.1 bar of boost. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is that, like 16 PSI, something like that? Yeah, something like that, like that. yeah, nothing too crazy. Yeah. The turbo itself is a TD-06 turbo, mm -hmm. so which you guys can see, obviously, it's not that of a big of a turbo. And the motor itself is original A30. It hasn't been bored out or stroke or anything. It's basically just a motor swap. But yeah, so basically normal setup, big, um, decent sized single turbos. So I'm not much of a Mercedes guy, I love them, but what motor did it actually come with? So originally it came with a V8, 4.5 liter V8. And was this something that he always wanted to do, swap in like a turbo Japanese motor? Yes, he is. He wanted to do this kind of like a quirky swaps and he 
parked it in this car. What was wrong with the motor? Was it not running right? Did it blow up or something? Is that why he swapped it? It wasn't like that. It was just originally came with like a mid condition, like a good condition car, but because the engine is an iron block and a big V8, yeah. the engine was heavy. So he wanted to, you know, weight reduction in a way. So that's why he swapped it into it. Because how much power did the stock motor have? Like 200 horsepower no, or something like that? The, the 280. 280, okay, so you he did get a bump of about 100 and, well, probably 150 or more. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. guessing 400 is probably wheel horsepower. So then, um, was there a lot of challenges? Did they have to cut anything to get it to fit because it's longer than the V8? Yeah, so basically the engine room was meant for V8. So it was kind of like an easier swap, but basically, yeah, like it was more narrower too. But the wiring was a little bit challenging. So basically the EC is run by Moltec. Mm. So well basically you have to rewire everything. Full so, standalone. Yeah, full standalone. And then what about is is any of this stuff still working like in terms of air conditioning or yeah, anything? Still has AC. air conditioning. Yes. So and then that's from the Toyota system? Yes. Toyota system, yes. Oh. That's pretty cool. And then what about the radiator? Is that all Mercedes? Oh, so they have a bigger core radiator. Yeah, so it has a uh, Mercedes OEM radiator, but it has a more bigger cores. Got it, got it, okay. So there's a Z32 intercooler on both sides. Got it. For the intercooler. Okay. Uh, I could see that the pipe, uh, yeah, yeah. the way it routes, it actually goes into the fenders. Yes. So this is something that the RWV guys all made これ, all of this stuff, huh? Yes, they, they, they make these It looks good, it actually kind of matches. So then, in terms of like, the paint, is this OEM? Did they have to refinish this? Oh, it's been repainted, but it, but it originally came like this. Got it. It's pretty cool, um, because it probably would be pretty easy for him to put in a manual transmission out of a Mark IV Supra. But to keep that Mercedes feel, and to keep the luxury aspect of it, he's using a Aristo transmission. Yes. And so that handles the power okay? Everything's Aristo? fine? Barely, that's a barely. <laughs> right, yeah. okay. So this turbo's capacity is about like, for one is about like 400 horsepower. So it's kind of maxing out the turbo capacity as well. So that's kind of like entwined with, you know, the automatic you know, capability and all the stuff too. That's so cool. Yeah, you can just swap out the bigger turbos and then push this car to like six, or even like if you go bonkers, you could go thousand. Wow. wow. But okay. Yeah, so, but if you do that, then the automatic's gonna blow it up. Right. So, so let's talk about um, the rest of the car, if that's okay with you. Can yeah, I ask so, him about the wheels? So, so this is his design, or what, what? Tell me about this setup. So, this is a HWA wheel that is. His shop, by mm. the way, he custom makes this wheel for old school Mercedes. From like uh, late 70s to 70年から80年ぐらいのベンツに向けたオイルですよね. So basically, this, uh, the story behind this wheel is he wanted the AMG wheel, but the AMG wheel with this design only came with 16s, but he wanted to put 17s, so he custom made this just for this car. This is probably the craziest brakes I've ever seen on an old Mercedes. F40 brakes on the front. F40. F that F40. Ferrari? Ferrari. F40? Ferrari F40 brakes are on this car. Uh, rotor, rotor diameter is about 350 millimeters. So then how, how did he know it was going to fit? Is it all custom to make it fit and everything? Or yeah, it's, it's everything custom made. He, he measured it everything and put it in. F40 out. brakes in the front, what about the rear? We should all, my F40, oh, that's a 430 brakes. F430 yeah. from Mercedes, or and from a Fer uh, Ferrari. Fer from Ferrari, yeah. Jeez. Right here. Yo, you're crazy. <laughs> that is so cool. Segoy. <laughs> wow, okay, all right. Man. It's yeah. a sleeper. Yeah, it, it definitely looks like a sleeper. You know, so he doesn't want to put like an aftermarket, like a pod gauges and stuff to make it more, like look, not to look like see. He, right. Make Can it more we take classy. a look at the inside? So then all the gauges, everything is OEM. Yeah. All the gauges work. Yeah, the it's, all function. it's all functional. So including the shifter, everything that looks stock. Yes. 
Oh, so this switch. Oh yeah, the ETC that's, power. Yes, yes, yes. Or CTP. E yeah, ECT power. That's, that's, that's from Toyota. Aside from that, Yo. everything is OEM. You can't tell at all. Mm -hmm. Like, you really can't. I mean, everything else. So, did he have to redo all this stuff this right here? Yeah, so only the front seat's been reskinned. Uh, other, others are just original. And the rears? The rears are original. original. Wow. Okay, what about the headliner? Everything, all that? Yeah, it's original. It's original headliner, too. So, he really did start with a very clean car. Oh, uh, so it was originally, was this car was on a display for like a Mercedes dealership. It was on a display, but yeah, he ended up buying that car and putting on to it. Yeah, he kind of begged the dealer to really? let yeah. them have it. <laughs> yeah, so now the motor's been swapped, so they're not, they're like a bit angry about it, you right. know? So <laughs> but what about care. other Mercedes people? Do they hate him? Yeah, it's like half and half. Like some people are saying it's cool, some people are like, what, what are you doing? Why? Why? Yeah, this it's is a, just it's so like special. This is just so special. I mean, I'm, I hope he understands that, like, we, we see so many different cars, you know. We, I don't know how many cars I've shot, thousands of cars, but this is really special just because of the great lengths he's gone through to make it OEM. Yeah, like, like the OE quality OEM rate. Plus. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Can we go for a ride then? Yeah? Okay. All right. Let's go. Ready? It's because I think it's going to sound very good. <laughs> it's great that it's it's snowing, huh? <laughs> Bad conditions. Yeah, it's okay. No problem. I'm so curious to to see how this thing is is gonna sound. No, 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 no. So it was the last one. So you've ridden in this thing before, yes. Masa? Actually, I sat exactly this position once. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, and oh, dude, you gotta have to be prepared, man. Why? It just sounds ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous. It sounds like a Supra. You're like you're in like a Supra, basically. Oh, and I love Supras. Yeah, but you're in like a most bougie, comfortable seat. Yeah. So this was like the epitome of how, how did he get everything to work? That's what I want to know. Yes, it's. Everything works. works. I wasn't ready for that. Amazing. <laughs> Wait, what the? What the? It's too much power. It's too much power. How does he drive this thing, dude? He's a baller. I see that. Oh my god, it sounds so crazy. See, I told you when the gate opens, it sounds like. Oh! <laughs> I'm fully blown away. Uh, the, the road surface is just too cold, so he's not gonna yeah. push it. Yeah, 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 no worries. Yeah. So cool. Yo. I am just fully blown away right now. Oh, so actually, all these uh, gauges are uh -huh. mechanical. Oh. So they just hook up with the wiring stuff, yeah. and it's. It works, it's functional. Right, okay, that's how he gets it to work. Oh, so there's an oil pressure gauge on the le uh, left side, uh, on bottom right, left, yeah. left side gauge on the bottom right, but that's not working, but aside from that, it's all functional. Oh my god. The fuel gauge and everything is Wait, still functional. And then the steering wheel is still stock, everything, all this is, the, the, the rack and everything, all that's stock. Yes, it's all stock. Well, like, let's say, like, OE. Wait, so then, the transmission, is it a four-speed or five-speed? Yes. Four-speed. Four four speed. Speed. Uh... It's all cassette deck. <laughs> so then, <laughs> it's all original. 
original cassette deck. And he had to make a custom exhaust for it? Exhaust was the custom. So, my car, pedas, car, usuro, made custom. Yes, it's all custom made exhaust. How long did it take to build this? 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 I just, I, I love it, you know. I, I just, I've never featured a car like this, uh, this Mercedes before, mm -hmm. and um, it's it's very special. This is like a very Japanese style, but it's just so well done. It's so clean, including even this switch, like the surround. They wanted to match the like the the style, the wood, or whatever it is. The, just the style of the interior. That's great. That's super cool. I want to know what what is he gonna build next? So he's building a double one um, S two one six S one two six a wagon. Mm -hmm. So that's a sedan e or wagon. Oh, double it double each zero double each zero. Good to go. S class S class S class. So he's making a S class wagon double one two six wagon, mm. not double one two four, mm. which is an E class one two six wagon. Yes, what S class year wagon. Is it an eighties? Oh, I love the way I love the way those look. Yeah, I love the way those look. So then, what motor is he gonna put in it? Engine is what? Engine is 500. SEL. So it's based on a 500 SEL. So it will be a 5 liter V8. He's not gonna swap the motor. He's not gonna swap the motor. Uh huh. Okay. He's gonna make a sedan body into a wagon body. Oh. That's pretty cool. I love that. That's great. So it was so easy. S class wagon is not present. No. Yeah, the W126 wagon is not present. Yeah, the W126 wagon is not present. Yeah, the W126 wagon is not present. Yeah, okay. So he's just gonna make it right. by himself. That's pretty cool. So then, what is he gonna build next? So he's just gonna make it by himself. That's pretty cool. So then, what else besides the brakes? Did he do anything else to the suspension or anything? Suspension was normal. And. So these suspensions, uh, well, coilovers are from Bilstein, uh -huh. but they're like a special one called, uh, well, there's a brand called Enapetal in, in Japan. Got it. And they custom made these coilovers for, specifically for this car. Uh -huh. So because like he's been driven in this car for so long, mm -hmm. the bushes are kind of a bit worn out. Mm. So it feels a bit rough got it, got right now, it, got a little bit. It, but is he taking the loop back or? Yeah, he's gonna okay. take a loop back. Okay. Another okay. route. Okay. Alright. Okay. Right. I just wonder. Crazy. Oh, oh what the? What the? There's a wastegate on a inner, inner like a wastegate up on around the right wheel side. So you can hear like the wastegate down from the other side. It just doesn't feel right for this to accelerate that fast. Yeah. You know? With that sound too, you know, the, the gate sound. It sounds so good. Yo, so did he have a Mark IV Supra before? Supra is not a good one. Supra? No. Supra? He's been driven as Toyota Sorer. Uh huh. So he has a 1J in it. Got it. 1J is not a good one. 7M GT. Oh, okay. So it's an old school one. Right, 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 right. Is it 20? Yes, it's 20. Yes, it's 20. Yes, it's 20. He's been driven as MZ20 and MZ21 Sorer. What a great swap. I'm That's a good one. This is why we come to Japan to shoot these kind of cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for... He likes to surprise people in this car. Yeah, I'm very surprised. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. 
普通に走ってればお巡りさんにも捕まらない Yeah, if you drive normally, the police won't care They won't care about this car Because it looks just normal It, it just it blends in, you know, the thing is uh, it, it, no, no offense to him, but if, if you see this car in Los Angeles In Beverly Hills It's usually some 90 year old lady that's driving this, you know? So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right? right? <laughs> And plus, they've had it since new, probably, you know? Look at the, look at the scenery behind, you know? Oh, yeah. That sound is just crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I definitely enjoyed filming this thing. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.